Hey folks, hope you're doing good today. Now you haven't seen me for the last couple of days because I picked up some kind of virus uh, and it put me in bed for two days, been on my back. Uh, but feeling a bit better today, thank you very much. Uh, so we'll get back into it, get, get some more cool bands on the channel. Now I've lined up four super nice bands today, modern, heavy, uh, just real heavy, modern bands. That's all there is to it. The first band we're going to check out are from Portland. This is Last Light. Their track is called White Hot. Let's give it a spin. That's just some good ass music. Dope riffs, sick drumming, fast bits, slow bits, heavy as hell uh, vocals, and you can hear the bass the whole time in the mix, seeing them rock out in the video. Dope, ticked all the boxes, very nice band. This is Ben Zant. Uh, I'm not sure, is this a one man band maybe? One man band? Doesn't say on here. This is on Beheading the Traitor. This is Backstabbed featuring Norman Reagan. Backstab! Backstab! <laughs> <laughs> 
Well, there you go. That was really different. Really cool. We wouldn't really know how to describe this in terms of genre. All sorts going on in there. Super heavy, ridiculous, weird guitar tone. It just made the whole thing sound different. It was gu guitar-y, but noisy and kind of just nasty as hell. Really came in hard. That bass tone was sick as well. Lots of different breakdowns into different sections. Wasn't expecting that electronic section in there as well. Uh, a real kind of building heaviness to it as well. Loads of stuff going on in the vocal. Yeah, really different, really original. Now, Ben Zahn, I'm going to guess it's a one-man band. Uh, and again, that just shows you that one-man bands are kind of just kicking it, doing stuff out the ordinary. Um, yeah, it looks to be a one-man band. Man, Ben, killing it. Keep sending in your music to this channel because we absolutely love one-man bands over here. I do anyway. Uh, and this is, yeah, one of the reasons why I love one-man bands because you get to hear music that you don't normally hear. It's come from one person's imagination and inspirations. Uh, and they've come up with some original and new, but still sounds super heavy and you can get into it. Sick. Very nice job. The next band, we haven't seen these guys for a while. Cool band, Tunguska. This one is called Stillborn, Stillborn Servant, which is a cool name. Here we go.
a big chunky bounce to this one. Nice job on this one. Heavy, thick, chunky, bouncy music with an atmospheric edge to it as well. Interested in how the guitars really kept the rhythm going in this one. The drums obviously as well, but the bounce came from the guitars. Dun -dun 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 -dun, you know? And the drums were kind of doing quite a lot of offbeat stuff, working the kit, whacking all the different cymbals. And if you were just following the drums, it would have been way more offbeat and kind of not as bouncy. Those guitar riffs all the way through and with a chunk on the guitar as well. It's just a nice thick bounce all the way through the track. Sick! I enjoyed that one a lot. There's some great guitar tones today. Last band we're going to check out. These are a cool band. Mouth Breather. This one is called Wasted Science. Let's finish off with these guys. Nice and thick in the guitars in all the bands today. Just heavy as hell. band great drumming fat heavy guitars again man all the guitars today have been so fat heavy nasty and dirty fizzed out uh, and just coming through the mix with the power sounds absolutely dope well there's four killer bands i'm not sure how you describe these bands in terms of just giving them a label and a genre uh, other than just saying modern heavy because you know, there's hardcore edges in there, there's metalcore edges in there, We've had some blast beats in some of these bands, there's an atmospheric edge to a lot of these bands, they're dirty and sludgy in the guitar tones and the way the mix sounds and everything, it's not that kind of, you know, PV, 
hardcore sound. Uh, it's got a, it's got a just a dirty fatness to it, which sounds sick. Sick drumming in these bands as well. So man, don't really know what you'd call it other than modern heavy, but it sounds super nice, super heavy. Just hits you with a power and that dirty power as well. Not a tight kind of chunky power. It's just a fat, dirty, distorted power. Sick. All the vocalists have been heavy as hell as well. Distortions on the vocals, which I like to hear as well. Blends the vocal in nicely with that dirty guitar sound. Bunch of sick drummers as well. Hear the bass in the mix. And man, you can't ask for any more. I've had a bunch of nice videos as well. So yeah, modern metal still kicking it as hard as ever uh, and sounding nice. I like, I like the way that it's got a kind of sludge edge to it in those guitar tones. It's just heavy and nasty and dirty. Uh, and it just hasn't necessarily got the tightness and chugginess that we've been used to for a good few years now. But that's what I like about it. It's different. It sounds different. It just sounds more dirty. Uh, I like it a lot. So I hope you've enjoyed that today. I might do some more over the weekend now. I'm feeling a bit better uh, and we missed a couple of shows. But if not, I'll be back for the Monday grind. Um, we've got a bunch of sick stuff always lined up for that. So we'll probably see you over the weekend, maybe. Uh, but anyway, we'll see you when we see you next. Hope you're having a good one, guys. Have a good weekend. If I don't see you then. See you, bye.